Hello everyone, I'm back again and I'm playing some Breach and Clear and I'm doing the missions in Turkey and it's a terrorist hunt. So uh, this is the third mission and it's called Operation Make Haste and the description of the mission is the terrorists have a rare element in the outdoor market. They are unaware of your presence and are holding the area in what appears to be an attempt to bring in more of their organization. Take them out and secure the rear of the bazaar. Alright. Seems to be quite a big open area in the middle. This could be interesting. So uh, playing it on hard of course. So uh, let's go ahead and launch. So, let's see. I'm actually not sure about how I would like to enter here. I don't I don't know. I I feel like A is more exposed, but I suppose it's not really. But it's probably better to enter through B. Simply due to the fact that you're going to have access to both of these doors, which will probably be quite nice. And if I use my guy with sprint, I could probably get him all the way up here while my other guys provide full cover for him and take out any threats. Yeah. I think that's uh, what I'm going to do. So, let's see. I don't think I'm going intelligence first. I think I'll go with breacher first, then direct action, intelligence, and the medic is lost, of course. What does the shotgun do? Chance to damage nearby enemies. No, I don't think so really. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to do any good. So I might as well just go with the normal door opening. And uh, let's go ahead. Stack up. So let's see. Of course I put... Oh, it's the Breacher that can sprint. Of course it is. So, that means he's going to, oh, wrong, need to select sprint, sprint, like that, yeah, no, let's run over there first. Let's go there, uh, have him check around there, and then up here. Sweet. And Roger. Next, next guy. Um, I want this guy to move up here and then fire in and cover that way. On it. Throw and go, guy. Uh, you of course, be heading in, pushing that upper. And then look in there. Consider it done. And then it's the lost guy. By then, anyone up here should be dead. Let's just make sure about it. And we're going to have a look in there. Then continue to run upwards. Yeah, I think that's about it. 
Oh no, wait. Yes, sir. I forgot about that. That's not good. Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to need to have one guy covered down there. Uh, so let's go with him at normal speed. And make sure that he covers as much as possible. Then we aim him that way. So, Got it. what did the third guy do? He supports up there. So I don't really like that. I would like to... No. On it. That's oh, it's the first it guy. That's right. So I think I might just stop him over here, actually. Yeah, I don't think there's going to come anyone around that corner. But I think th th this feels good. Um, I think this will do. So let's go ahead and breach. On it. Contact. Done. Yeah, so that turned out really well. Uh, I'm going to bring this guy up here. On it. Um, this guy is going to aim in here while he runs past. Then look downwards. It's going to run up here and over here, so I get another angle. Roger. These guys. Let's see. How far can I throw that grenade? Not far enough, obviously. Uh, nope. That won't. Uh, do let's see can I move him in let's see I might be able to move him in that way done he gets full coverage on all of them and let's see the flashbang I think if I throw that in there, consider it done. This guy's running. Stay sharp. That guy's running as well. Done. Let's just see how far can he throw. Not far enough. So I'm going to go with him at normal speed. He's going over there. Done. Uh, who the hell is the check the corners? Demolitions guy. Got then? it. Is it him? No. Yes, sir. Uh, this guy. Yeah, he can throw pretty far. So. I should probably throw that in there. If I take him out, he won't be able to use that as cover, and I will save me quite a bit of time. I think if I throw it over here, it should take him out. And he might be taken out as well. Roger. So that won't be necessary now, will it? So that means... That thing is going to detonate over there. Hopefully going to take him out. So let's bring him back. And then bring him up. Bring him up. Like that. 
no, into the corner to get into cover, and then move him up. By then, that's four seconds, three seconds, there's two seconds. The grenade is going to detonate right before he enters in there. That's going to be pretty sweet, I think. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's see what happens. On it. Oh crap, I didn't take that guy out. Roger. So. Let's see. Going to throw this one up there. That's really risky. I don't like that guy at all. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, Roger. This guy can throw and go. What the hell did I select? Throw and go. Flashbang. Yeah, that's good. And then he moves up. If they stay in that location, that's going to be good. Like yes, that. So I'm going to save myself that amount of time, moving him over there. So if I don't take these guys out, I have pretty close to getting to cover over there. Got it. This guy. I would like to use him. Oh, I can't throw very far with this guy. That's not too good. But if I move... If I throw that, then hopefully he will start shooting after that. Roger. And then this guy will be able to get into position and fire at them. This is getting a bit risky. I don't particularly like it, but. Yeah, that guy's will. Did I, it done. Did I have it. something that was good? Yeah, he's going to be flashed pretty badly. Consider it done. So that should be dealt with. Yeah. Let's do it. Flash bang out! Targets down, area clear. Sweet. That actually went better than I expected. Um, that flashbang uh, really worked out. Let's see what happens again. Yeah. Really nice. Level up on two characters as well. That's pretty sweet. So let's see. I had three soldiers wounded, and it took 14.8 seconds to take out seven enemies. Ah, that's decent enough. So let's see. The intelligence officer. Um. I'm noticing more and more that I probably should pick speed to be able to get the squad members into position. But I still prefer to have the survivability. So 
I'm going to go with evasion and direct action. Let's see. I'm thinking about maxing out intimidation before I go on the other stuff, but I'm not quite sure to be honest. I do feel like the fact that it takes longer for them to acquire him. Yeah, it would be nice to have evasion on him so that once they acquire him, they won't hit him as easily. Yeah, I think I'm going with the intimidation again, actually. And that's it for this mission. So stay tuned for the next mission. This is going to be mission number four, I believe. So have a good day and uh, I'll see you soon.